In this video, you're not going to see the Statue of Liberty, Christ the Redeemer, or the Great Sphinx of Giza. We're going to take a look at some amazing statues that are often unknown to the general public. The Motherland Calls, also known as Rodinamat Zovyat in Russian, is a powerful symbol of the city of Volgograd, previously called Stalingrad. This awe-inspiring statue, towering at 279 feet, 85 meters, is recognized as one of the tallest statue of a woman in the world. This monumental statue stands on Mamayev Kurgan, a hill that overlooks the city. Constructed in 1967, the giant statue was created by sculptor Yevgeny Vukotich and structural engineer Nikolai Nikitin to memorialize the Battle of Stalingrad, one of the most brutal battles in the history of World War II. The statue encapsulates the essence of endurance and fortitude, portraying a woman raising a sword high into the sky, summoning her children to resist the enemy. This powerful representation pays tribute to the bravery and sacrifices of the Russian people during the war. The construction of the statue was a feat of engineering, fraught with challenges due to its immense size and the complexity of its pose. The statue is not actually connected to its foundations, but rather relies on its own weight to keep it in place and standing upright. The sword of the statue, which is 108 feet long, was originally trimmed with titanium sheets. However, it was replaced by a new steel version without the titanium and with holes near the upper end to reduce the wind impact. Including the sword, the statue is twice as tall as the Statue of Liberty in New York, and at the time of its creation, was the tallest statue in the world. The statue is approached by 200 steps, signifying the 200 days of the Battle of Stalingrad, each step a testament to a day of fierce conflict. The statue has faced preservation challenges due to its size and exposure to the elements. It has gone through multiple restorations to ensure its stability and endurance. Today, the Motherland Calls remains a symbol of Russian history and a reminder of the human cost of war. The Leshan Giant Buddha Standing resolute on the cliffs of Leshan, Sichuan Province, China, is more than a colossal statue. It's a living connection between humanity and the elements. In the year 713 AD, a devoted monk named Hai Tong envisioned a guardian, Maitreya Buddha, carved into the very rock that overlooked the confluence of three mighty rivers. His purpose was twofold, to protect sailors navigating the treacherous waters and to honor the teachings of Buddha. Thus began a monumental project that would span 90 years. Soaring 233 feet, 71 meters, it stands as the tallest stone Buddha in existence and has a shoulder broader than a basketball court, spanning 92 feet. This colossal statue has fingers extending 27 feet in length and wooden ears covered in mud, reaching 23 feet, a true testament to ancient engineering. As time went by, erosion, air pollution, and the passage of dynasties took their toll. Once sheltered by a 13-story wooden structure, the Buddha now stands exposed. Plants cling to its surface, and acid rain darkens its noble features. The destruction of this structure, which resembles the one present in the Rongxin giant Buddha, was done by the Mongols who sacked it during the wars at the end of the Yuan dynasty. In 2019, a significant restoration breathed life back into the ancient stone. The Lixian giant Buddha, like a sage awakening from meditation, regained its luster. Preservationists continue their delicate dance with time, ensuring this cultural treasure endures. The Sendai Daikanon, completed in 1991, is a representation of the Buddhist deity of mercy and compassion, Kanon. The statue is a significant figure in Japanese Buddhism, symbolizing peace and spiritual enlightenment. Standing majestically in Sendai, Japan, the Sendai Daikanon statue is an awe-inspiring embodiment of spiritual serenity and cultural heritage. This towering figure, reaching up to 100 meters, is the world's eighth tallest statue and was the tallest in the world when it was created. Sendai was established as a city in 1889. Some people believe that the statue's 100-meter height commemorates each year of its existence as a city, marking its centennial in 1989. The statue's architecture is a marvel of modern engineering Combined with traditional Japanese craftsmanship, the statue depicts Cannon holding a jewel in her left hand and a water flask in her right, symbols of wisdom and life-giving nectar, respectively. If you want to visit, you can explore the interior of the statue. The first floor houses numerous large statues of Buddha and mythical kings. 
The twelfth level is accessible via an elevator. Visitors then descend via stairs and ramps. At each level, eight Buddhas are displayed in timber cabinets, totaling 108, a sacred number in Buddhist tradition. In essence, the Sendai Daikanon stands as a beacon of serenity, a manifestation of Japan's rich cultural heritage, and a testament to the country's artistic prowess and spiritual depth. The birth of the New World is a towering 360-foot bronze sculpture that graces the Atlantic coastline of Arecibo, Puerto Rico. This monumental statue was designed by Georgian sculptor Zurab Tseretelli to celebrate the 500th anniversary of Christopher Columbus's first voyage. In the work since 1991, the sculpture vividly portrays Columbus at the helm of a ship, controlling a depiction of a steering wheel. The backdrop features the Niña, Pinta, and Santa Maria, the three ships that Columbus used on his voyage, traversing the Atlantic Ocean. Despite its grandeur, the monument faced numerous rejections. The statue was made to be a present to the United States and was offered to several American cities, including Baltimore, Fort Lauderdale, Miami Beach, New York City, and Columbus, Ohio. However, none of these cities accepted it due to various reasons such as its disproportionate features and the huge impact its size would have on their skylines. During its search for a home, the statue was called a few interesting names such as Robo Columbus, Chris Kong, and From Russia with Ugg. Desperately trying to find a place to put it, it was also offered to Puerto Rico, where Columbus arrived in 1493. The statue was accepted, even though it had a cost of $12 million to raise it. When completed in 2016, it became the tallest sculpture in North America, surpassing Mexico's Guerrero Chimali. The statue's journey to its final location was not without its challenges. After being imported to Puerto Rico, there were plans for it to be erected in Catano. However, due to various reasons, the birth of the New World was finally assembled at Arecibo. A smaller, different version called the Birth of a New Man was built in Seville, Spain and is supposed to be the European link of this piece of art. The statue has not been without its critics. Some have argued that it glorifies a figure who is associated with the colonization and subsequent suffering of indigenous populations. These controversies have sparked debates about the statue's place in modern society and how history should be commemorated. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel to see future videos. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please use the comment section of this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.